Hey everyone, who's ready for the pedicure to go with this manicure? All right, so I used raspberry jam, which is the jelly translucent. It's not transparent, it's translucent, um, hot pink color that I actually have underneath these two ring fingers. Um, so I used on, on this manicure, if you saw last the last video, it's the raspberry jam is that hot pink that I have on here. Then I put the clear overlay of palm before the storm. And so those are my palm leaves. And then I put the uh, Lokilani rose, which is another translucent soft pink that I have on all the nails with a beautiful glitter going on or shimmer. Um, right on top. It gave the clear overlay a beautiful, very soft and delicate look. Um, go back and watch that video. But today I, I'm taking the raspberry jam portion, the hot pink, and I'm making hot pink toenails. And let me tell you, I already did it and I am wiping the sweat from my brow because there was a moment where Honestly, you'll hear it in my voice. I'm panicking just a little because the sets were drying out as I was doing it. I had the ceiling fan on and I had them sitting on a blue ice and my blue ice is pink, but I had them sitting on a blue ice and somehow that combination and I had left them out since I had done my manicure to when I did my pedicure and that combination just made them crisp. So they dried out and they wouldn't stick. So watch this video and you will find out how we solved the problem. And I'm so glad we did. And yeah, if you ever have this problem, our secret is the Color Street Nail Strengthener. It worked fantastic. So be sure to watch to the end so that you can see how this saved my pedicure. All right, you guys, let's get to it. Okay, so all we have for raspberry jam are two of the largest pieces that I'm gonna use for my big toes and two smaller pieces. And I am confident that between one of these and one of these, I can do each foot. So two pieces for one foot and two pieces for the other foot. So let's get started. First thing, of course, we're gonna use our Color Street nail prep pad and clean up these toes. I actually did put some of the cuticle oil on earlier today, and so I definitely wanna make sure all of that is off because it will prevent the Color Street from properly adhering to the nail. So we wanna make sure we get all of that off in all of the various crevices. There we go. Okay, and we're going to take off this top purple piece. And here is our raspberry jam. It is translucent, so you could see through it, which I think is really cool. I'm gonna line that up with my cuticle but not on my cuticle. Press down and press to each side. And taking my thumbnail, I'm going to perforate right here at the top of my big toenail and perforate it off right there. Awesome. Now, I'm going to use this cuticle stick to make sure it goes down into, actually it's perforating it already. Um, I wanted to push it down into this, this, I guess you would call it crevice, between my nail and my skin. Um, for me in particular, that area is pretty deep. And so I definitely wanna make sure the color street is getting in there. All right, there's a little piece right here it's not on my toenail. Let's see if I could break it off. There we go. All right, and this part that was on my skin, let's peel that off as well. Ta-da! Big toe done. 
And then we're going to take this piece and we're going to take off the perforated edge on the side. So as you can tell, because it has a perforated edge on the other side, this is actually a manicure set. It's not a pedicure set, but you can use a manicure set on your toes. Not a problem at all. Oop, I'm a little low. I'm on my cuticle. Okay, much better. Push down in between and perforate along the top. Ooh, apparently I didn't let my manicure cure long enough. I could I could see where it's getting some oh, some wrinkles right in there. Oh, apparently I didn't take this all the way off either. All right, so be careful with that. If your manicure is still too is still curing, you don't want to be using that thumbnail. So perforate. I'm going to use this cuticle stick more than I expected originally. Um, there we go. Next. Put this on this toe. Again, trying to stay off of my cuticle. Push it down. Oh, I'm making a bubble there. Let's pull it back up. Kind of pull. I'm pulling in a that direction so that as I pulled this way, there's no wrinkles coming in over here. I'm going to do the same pulling, pushing, pulling that direction with the curve so there's no wrinkles over here. Let's push this down. Press between my nail and the cuticle. And this one is just perforating right off. And then pressing at the tip of my toe, right in there, or tip of my toenail to get this section off. Oh, it's still there. I think it's still on my um, skin a little. So let's try that again. I wanna press it down, but also press under my toenail. I could perforate right in that area. There we go. Good. Make it a little bit right there. Press it down. There we go. Now I'm going to need this extra piece to get the last two nails. And putting it on right above the cuticle, not on the cuticle. Press down the two sides, perforate at the top. And then I'm going to seal that all up with the cuticle stick so I'm not ruining my thumbnail. And there we go. Apparently this dried out a little between the time I used it on my fingers and when I was waiting to do my toes. And so it's a little bit uh, crisp. And therefore, I don't know if you can see, but right there, it actually perforated um, and is exposing my toenail at the tip. But from the uh, five foot one view, no one's gonna be able to tell. So from from when I'm standing up, looking down at my toes, I will not be able to tell. The very, very tip of my toenail is exposed, so I'm not gonna worry about that. Cause yeah, you probably can't even see it from where you are. I don't, I don't know. But when I'm standing up, looking down at my toes, or even sitting in a chair, I won't be able to see that. So I'm not really concerned. Okay, my pinky toe is wider than it is long. So we're just gonna go the width of it. And perfect it right here. Ooh, yeah, that's not even sticking to my toenail. I hope I got all the oils off, but I think it's because I'm thinking this is getting crisp. 
because I left it out and exposed while I was waiting for my fingers to cure. So that could be a problem. Yeah, that's not sticking at all. Okay, let's try the back end. See if that part's more sticky. There we go. No, it's coming right off. It's coming right off. Okay. Let me pause the video. I'm going to go grab something. I'll be right back. All right, I am back. I have the Color Street Nail Strengthener. I'm actually going to paint my pinky toe, making it basically wet. And then I'm gonna come back to it when that gets a little tacky and see if I can put this back on it. For now, let's go to the other foot and let's put this on this pinky toe. Let's see if this works. Oh, I didn't use the nail prep pad. Let's make sure we get all those oils off. Okay, let's see if this pinky toe is gonna work. No, it's not. Okay, so let's try the same thing. Paint this one and see what happens. All right, put this to the side and let's do our big toe. All right, take off the top tab. Let's line that up. Press it down and perforate it off. Ooh, yeah, I can tell as time is going on, this is getting more and more dry. Let's try to get these on as quickly as possible before this dries out. Press, press, press. I'm going to leave the detail stuff to the very end. I just wanted to get on my um, nail without peeling up before it's fully dried out. Let's get that on there. And voila, okay, we've got four <laughs> very sloppy toenails done pressing it down trying to make sure it's staying okay and then I have some random pieces and I still have this piece so let's go back to the pinky toe and see if I can get this all right it stayed and I'm going to use my thumbnail to perforate right there. Voila, it stayed. Oh, this one's kind of lifting. It's going to stay? No, it's not. So let's do the same thing. Let's use that nail strengthener as nail glue. Nail glue. So we're going to just leave that, let it get tacky a bit. Press down on this side. Perforate underneath my the top of my toenail. This is crazy, huh? And to think earlier today, these sets were a little overly tacky and therefore I actually had them sitting on my blue ice over here, which is actually pink ice, but you get the gist, um, so that they wouldn't be 
too hot and too wet. And now they're too dry. Okay, so get everything perforated off. This side too. Pushing between my nail and my skin to perforate things. Okay, and then let's see, how's that doing? Let's put this piece back on there. Press it down. And voila. Let's move this out. Okay. Press between my nail and my skin to perforate it off. And voila, it worked. Ta-da. All right, so, phew, that was a close one with that. All right, let's go back to that first pinky. Let's make sure it's still a little tacky. It is. Let's use this piece. Put it right there on the pinky toe and perforate it off just like that and yes it is sticking Thank, thanks to that nail strengthener it's still tacky on there and it's working like like I guess you would call it like a nail glue or like a base coat to hold it down All right, well, we learned a lesson by accident. <laughs> oh. So again, this is the Color Street Nail Strengthener. I put it on, let it get a little tacky. Did not put this the strips on while it was wet, but while it was tacky, and then it seems to have worked and they seem to be staying on. Like push down just to make sure, yeah. There we go. All right, so our pedicure is done. And here's the manicure that I have going with it. So this is also the raspberry jam on the base. Then palm before the storm is the clear overlay I put on top. And then on top of all of these nails, again, including this one, and again, that's palm before the storm right there, is the uh, Lokilani, um, Lokilani Rose. So that's what I have on here, and here's the pedicure that I'm using to match. All right, you guys, I hope you have a great rest of your summer, and then we're going to start some fall nails. Talk to you guys later. Bye!